Georgia's race for governor may not be over on Election Day, November 2nd. Libertarian candidate John Mons may be in the single digits in the polls, but the pollsters are saying he could force a runoff. All new at 6, Senator Laurie Geary interviewed the candidate and joins us live in the newsroom with his take on the governor's race. Laurie. John, no doubt John Mons is the underdog in the governor's race, but he could be the reason the race isn't finished until November 30th. My opponents both are big government uh, guys. Libertarian John Mons is not your typical candidate running for governor. His entourage consists of his kids ranging in age from 4 to 13. It's his first crack at running for office. Polls show him in the single digits against opponents Roy Barnes and Nathan Deal, but that number is on the rise. Mons says he's gaining momentum among many Tea Party supporters. I think what the folks in the, that particular movement want they want to see less taxation. They want to see less government. And they, they, they have finally realized that the, the two major parties don't offer that. Deal and Barnes are in a tight race, so Mons could actually force a runoff. The Libertarian candidate says the way to help Georgia's unemployment rate, get government out of the way. He says he'd push for casino gambling, horse racing, and Sunday sales of alcohol. We have industries that are begging to come to Georgia. Uh, looking for the green light. I'm saying, hey, let's, let's flip the switch. Mons says when it comes to his opponents, Barnes already had a chance at governor and lost. As for Nathan Deal's personal financial problems... I, I definitely won't make it an issue. If it's something that voters are concerned about, they can uh, judge him how they see fit. Mons, who has a financial degree from Morehouse College, calls himself a full-time teacher. He's a stay-at-home dad who homeschools his kids who are now getting a first-hand education in politics and the economy. If you want real stimulus, let people keep the money they've earned instead of having to give it to the government. It's simple. Two years ago, Saxby Shambliss and Jim Martin were forced into a runoff in the U.S. Senate race. The Libertarian candidate got 3% of the vote back then. John? Laurie, thank you. And here's another look at the latest Insider Advantage WSB-TV poll. It shows Roy Barnes and Nathan Deal tied at 42%. 5% of those surveyed said they are planning to vote for John Mons, 11% undecided. In the previous poll, Deal held a 4% lead over Barnes. Meanwhile, we're following new developments involving Nathan's deal, Nathan Deal's finances. Deal's campaign says he will liquidate his IRA, now worth about $750,000, to help pay down a $2.3 million debt. That debt related to a failed sporting goods store venture involving Deal's daughter and son-in-law.